Hey everyone, this is Randy Nunez from Between the Chalk Lines. I'm here with more breaking news on the Shoya Otani contract, the $700 million, 10 years. It is being reported now by multiple people and multiple sources, even in The Athletic, that he will only be taking $2 million a year over the next 10 years uh, in that contract for a total of $20 million. This helps out the Dodgers massively. This hit will only be about $46 million per year um, as it stands for the CBT and Dodgers. And Otani said that he'll only be taking the $2 million because he's already making forty to about $50 million off the field in endorsements and sponsorships so he feels that he can make a nice living as it is in just endorsements and sponsorships he doesn't need the money that he is getting in this deal with the Dodgers so what this means and what is being said from sources is that he will probably retire after this deal with the Dodgers he's already spent several years playing in Japan he spent six years with the Angels in Anaheim. He'll spend another 10 years in Los Angeles with the Dodgers. That'll be 16 years in the MLB. And he'll be Hall of Fame eligible. You only need 10 years of service to be Hall of Fame eligible. And on top of that, he'll be getting deferred payments from 2034, the year after he finishes this deal with the Dodgers, to 2043 for another 10 years so 10 years of two million dollars and 10 years of we don't know yet but if you just do the annual average value that would be 68 million dollars a year i'm sure it, it'll be something that might be escalating or might be a little bit lower than that um you know changed around but i have to assume that he'll be getting 68 million dollars a year for another decade after he's done finishing uh, with baseball, which is insane. Uh, it's crazy. It was crazy to think that he would get $70 million playing baseball, but it's even more crazy to think that he'll be getting $68 million not playing baseball. Um, so that's the news. I told you all that I would be tweeting. I just sent out a tweet about the athletic... Um, and their article so that's out you all just saw that literally just minutes ago i'll be posting this video up in a few minutes after i edit it so good luck uh like i said dodgers fans good luck shohei otani i know that he was already making about 40 million with the angels just in 2023 uh off of endorsements and such so 50 million is not out of the picture you know that that's something he can definitely do um, man, Dodgers are going to be in it for Yoshinobu Yamamoto and other star pitchers, uh, just because of this, uh, this man. I mean, all I can say is this insanity, uh, the way this contract is being structured is crazy. And this is probably also why it hasn't been announced yet, just because of the sheer madness and the way baseball has never seen a contract structured this way and on top of that he is not charging or asking for interest on top of those payments so it'll just be pure 700 million dollars from the dodgers to shohei in the end um so all these deferred payments there's no interest whatsoever so i i don't know what the dodgers said or did to get Shohei to get on top of this, you know, uh, deal. And like I said, apparently it was already Otani's idea to just say, you know, give me a few million, go spend the rest on some stars and help this team become a World Series team. So I'm, I'm thinking that the Dodgers have a good chance on making the World Series again and taking that trophy home um, in the next decade. That's, that's, that's all I can say, really. So, 
This is Randy Nunez from Between the Chalk Lines, special edition, crazy money deal, breakout, uh, you know, video, signing off.